Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nuramik and welcome back to more of Persona 4 Golden. Last time we visited the TV world with Yosuke for the first proper time and we fought off his shadow. And now uh, we're getting ready to go to bed. Uh, we're going to check the TV, see if anything appears on the Midnight Channel. And of course, if you new and up enjoying, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And now with all that said, it's time to see if anybody's going to appear. So, it's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? I don't know. You tell me. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the con conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman, it looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Now I'm fumbling my words today. But that brings us to April 16th. And all the Velvet Room. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, Eagle. Yes, yeah, so this is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtain the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Okay, so uh, we had a little bit of a dump there, but those guys are here to help us in case you're wondering uh, what their purpose is. Now. Saturday, so we do still have school. Uh, but we're not joined by anyone. Yo. 
You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't well, tell who it all. was. But if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Hmm. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It has to be us. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Uh -huh. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. And this music playing here, man, I think it's called New Days. Oh, it's flawless. It just if there's a way I can somehow I feel about this game, not this track, but the track that was just playing, it's mmm. Anyway, so, uh, thou art I and I am thou, um, you have made a bond, a magician arcana. I mean, you're not as good as so the three is a magician arcana, but you, you, you're, you're okay, Yosuke. Um, so yes, this is what Eagle is going on. Okay, now, shut, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, you can wake us down when we're knocked down. Mint. So, um, yeah, getting social links will give you a few gameplay perks here and there. Uh, that's basically all you need to know. I'm not gonna, I'm not, not gonna let Igor extend this video's runtime unnecessarily, okay? Achie, um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey. Is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Because you used email! Earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. She might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, uh, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <gasps> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine! And you were all, Is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? 
what? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Yeah, so the plot's starting to get rolling, but uh, luckily Yukiko is still safe. For now. You explain to Chio in detail what happened about last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? You tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you! What's wrong? I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's Eddie? Oh. Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchanged cell numbers with Yosuke. <laughs> I'm not Chia, right. okay. Don't forget to watch okay. tonight. <laughs> Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Uh, we still can't do anything, I'm pretty sure, so, uh... Nothing left to do but to watch. Looks like we found all we're going to find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah. 
I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Okay, so, um, Adachi and Dojima are, uh, are on the case, but, uh, I don't Where think they're gonna go? find out about the TV world anytime soon. So, um, I don't think there's anything else for us to do other than to watch the Midnight Channel, so, you know, so let's go do that, let's go, let's go do that. Uh, conveniently, it has been raining, like, on three consecutive nights, so we're, uh, well, you know how it goes. It's raining tonight, of course it is. Will something appear on TV? Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise! I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not A Dream, Not A Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Well! <laughs> and that was a, that, 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 that. <laughs> that was definitely an occurrence on the Midnight Channel just now. Calm down, try to contact Yukiko or Chie. Go Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko san. I reckon she's already Tomorrow trying. Sunday. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. The most unrealistic part about this game is a 16, 17 year old going to bed shortly after midnight. What a lie. It seems only Nanako is here. You're up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Hmm. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. I have a Juness advert. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's going to come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Uh, you decided to go out. She she, she sees and knows everything, man. Uh, but no, um, I think they said it was going to be sunny, which means no more Midnight Channel for a while. Sorry for the hold up. I found Interesting. some stuff can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our uh, personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, uh, the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Or like this? 
What about this? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! Uh, but uh, this isn't... <laughs> Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've taken to the police station with Yosuke. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. So it is true then. She's missing. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my copy? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Well, that was eventful. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. 
And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Well, why is Chie a weapons expo? Like, this, this is never brought up again. Why is she a weapons expert? Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metal works, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Oh. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You can call my die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Uh, you really shouldn't be doing this. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Aye aye. Okay, so. Oh, I love the shop music in here. But, so. Uh, we can buy accessories. Do not buy accessories. And then, like, later on, I'll be fairly well off. But, we can buy weapons and armor. Uh, for you and your skin right now. Um, so, first things first. And um, this, this is, this is very important. Yes, I would like to do all this stuff. And for your skin, um, hunting Nalta, it's not that much of an increase. Um, so we'll see how expensive armor is, because. Everyone has unique weapons, but people don't have unique armor. So I think it'd be a better investment if we go ahead and we get, like, chain... See, you even think, oh, you know, the defense increase from getting chain mail is, you know, less than the inter... No, trust me, we need defense first and foremost. And we need to be able to withstand some good amount of hits. And I think that's, uh, should be good. Oh, we don't have anything... Oh, okay, we do, but it's... Nah, okay, so uh, Yosuke's just gonna go off with his default thing. Yeah, that's not awful. Oh, we can, we can, we can work with that. Uh, but we're gonna leave, and they want us to make our own way to Juness Food Court, which... God, they're putting a lot of faith in me, it's like, me, it's like the first bit of gameplay I've done in three hours! <sighs> yes, yeah, so they're, they're gonna stroll off and we have some time to kill, so I'm told... Oh. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. It's looking awfully purple. If you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Look, I didn't agree to this man. Eagle, what you what you playing at? We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. 
Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the Magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly, but also seems familiar. I've met you somewhere. Huh? Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, Farewell. Well, yeah, that's a pretty much just a tutorial on my end. You're not going to see me use too much of the Velvet Room because it's... I feel like I'm going to cut out a lot of combat, but um, that, that's the details of it. I might use it once or twice in an episode. Um, either way, uh, we're approaching the 34 minute mark, which is kind of grand. Uh, let's have a quick look at the time. It's um, 10 to 7. I need to be somewhere at quarter past 8. Um, do we continue? I'm not sure, I'm, I'm just enjoying the music as is. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do out on the town right now. It's like, actually, I kind of, I kind of want to myth bust something. Is it gonna let me? Okay, I can leave the shopping districts. Um, head to Juness, ah. Oh, I, wa I wanted to leave the shopping district and head back to Dojima's house. Uh, see if I could sequence break it by going back and uh, switching it to evening, but it doesn't seem like that's the case, which is fine by me. So yes, we're going to go to Juness, we're going to speak to the people, uh, we're going to do some fun TV shenanigans. It's going to be fine. We really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. Alright, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to- I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? <laughs> a little nod where they just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, it 
really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I'm stuff. Okay, it appears he's been thinking about himself all this time. Oh. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. And she's off. Positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh, I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So... Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Yeah, no time to sit around for plot details. Chie wants to save her friend first and foremost. So, ch she ran off on her own. Uh, there are all the shadows in that castle. It'll be dangerous inside for her by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find her. Okay, that works for me, but I want to speak to you. Can I save my game here? Ah, that's right here. Take this. Oh, and this too. Grand. Well, off you go. Um, is there a way that I can save? There should be. Yes, okay, I'm just gonna put a Dachi on the screen. Syst system, um... Th th there are save points in here, right? Am I, am I... Uh, no, no. Oh, no. Um, can I head back this way? Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Um, no a little butterfly that you can save at, but they're not letting me go back to where that's normally located, so... Here we go. So, she hasn't gone that far yet. Oh, she ran a full alone. Damn it, let's go. Right, the shadows have gotten aggregated since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you. Try to get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. I know this. If we, if we hit them without being seen, or just hit them before they... Basically, if we hit them, we get an advantage. If they hit us, they get an advantage. That is very much the TLDR of the situation. 
Um, so yeah, because me and you get running around. This is a main, the main dungeon draw thing of Persona 4. Um, it's not visually stunning, especially this dungeon, but well, well, the affiliate dungeons are nice. Um, even if they do fall into, like, I'm not sure what we'd call them, like, blocks, you can, they're predictable things. Um, not sure how to describe it, but yeah, either way. Um, shadows in this game are renowned for being a bit not blind, but anyway, hit them from the back, you get a little bit of benefit. Uh, we don't know what they're weak to, so we're just gonna guess. Um, so, oh, I don't have Yosuke on direct commands, this is gonna hurt me. Please be weak to wind. Ooh, pop off. Ooh, go on. Um, I'm gonna need to explain what combat is, because... Well, explain the general gist of it last time, that was an all-out attack. And, ooh, shuffle time. This is nice, you just get free stuff. So, um, so the mysterious cards before your eyes, you gotta reach out to them. Basically, um, after, after certain battles, namely those where you exploit weaknesses to finish them, you get certain perks. So you can get Persona cards, um, like buff cards, like avoid encounters, XP, money, weapons, stuff like that. And, uh, you can, like, chain certain bad cards together to get yourself more, uh, more cards, and if you wipe all of them, then, uh, you get a, a nice little, uh, bonus, so it's guaranteed to spawn after the next battle. It, it, it's very nice, very helpful. Um, either way, um, I do think this is going to be the only four we're exploring today. I have a feeling we uh, we go we go rescue Cheech, and uh, Cheech is uh, happy with us, and then... Nope! See, he's a clairvoyant. He's seeing me from the back, but we're still getting our advantage, and that's what matters. I, either way. Um, so we counted this guy last time. I know he's weak to my Zeo stuff. And, oh, tactics! Now, I can, I can give you direct commands now. Yes, so, um, before Yosuke was AI controlled, not anymore. Um, unlike Persona 3, you can take control of your party members. The tactic system is still there if that's what you were used to, but directly controlling your party members, very cool, very good, very grand. As you can see, so we know exactly what to do, and we can play it exactly like we want. It does mean you're more liable for what, when you mess up, but that's okay, I think. Anyway, and we want to grab as many of these Persona cards as we can for the time being. And Yos gets leveled up. No moves just yet, but it's okay, it's cool, it's cool. As long as we play our cards right and we uh, remember what everything's weak to, which there shouldn't be two strong enemies right now. And um, we should just be able to kind of easily breeze through it, exploit the weaknesses, have a, have a grand old time. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so cheers. A much faster of a runner than I, I, I took her for initially. Alright, those are the stairs. Uh, just, I want to check out the rest of this floor first. I don't believe shadows spot respawn, but I could be wrong. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, so my rights, I, I misplaced my right stick. Right stick. Ooh. Okay. Um, either way, this is. Yeah, it's like so that's an enemy advantage. You can see we screwed up. They hit us. Uh, they got the jump on us. Not grand. Ah, but I say we just zap these guys down. That's this. This is combat. Of course. The, the downside with, like, the early level combat in this game is the music just absolutely slaps. Like, it should be illegal to slap this hard, but you finish it really early on. Uh, now, because we were hit uh, near a few of, like, a bunch of other shadows, it also means um, the second shadow, like, the second set of shadows will come into play. Uh, this is, um, addition. Uh, Persona 3 didn't do this. You'd only count that one set of shadows. Anything near you would vanish. Um, different. Um, here. Um, a down definitely, either a downside or an upside, depending on how you enjoy this game. Anyway, uh, so this is, um, yes, yeah, it's time to make history. This is, this, yeah, this is the main battle theme. There's two, reach out to the truth and this. Uh, this is the one that plays if the enemy advantage or a neutral battle happens. That's, neutral battles are a weird as hell thing. Uh, but, uh, the one you heard the last episode was reach out to the truth. And that happens if you get a player advantage. And that's why the music might be changing, in case any of you were curious. Oh, you are... You are a Hawaiian Kabale, you. Just perish. Oh, I, I, could, I could have used Zeo to get shuffle time, but... We're pressed for time, so we won't. We won't. Definitely, that was the intended uh, purpose. Yes, yes. Anyway. Um, so he is going on... Uh, Teddy is going on about how Yosuke is injured, which is true. He is. Um... Now what we can do, I think, if I can find him, because the camera's a little bit finicky. Oh, you can't speak to him! Okay, that kind of sucks, because it means, I think, if we come in here, we got some medicine that we can use. Just, uh, bap, bap! Um, yeah, no, in... 
because uh, I've just finished playing through Persona 3, so that, that game's mechanics will be stuck in my head, so I apologize if I get a few things mixed up, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, these two are going to have a little uh, combat thing, uh, basically telling me I can control Yosuke. Uh, but no, um, I am, I'm very used to Persona 3 things, but I should readjust as time goes on. Anyway, so, there she is. Chie chan is in there. Open the door. Yeah. I don't see there's a reason to not. Chie, are you alright? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpais too. Yeah. This castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so, so kind, kind, huh? What, what a joke. joke. What? Oh man, is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Yes, so, um, yet another shadow person to fight. Bet you didn't that bet you didn't think that was gonna happen in back to back episodes, if I can English. So, yes. I am a shadow, the true self. What do you guys think you're doing? Trying to defend the real me? Then you're gonna pay the price! Shut up! Quit being such a pain! Gee, 
Just hang in there a little longer. Think you can stop me that easy? Yeah, so this is going to be a little bit tanky, but we should be good. And now, because we've been picking up personas, we can swap between a few of them. Here we have Ugobotch, which specializes in fire, uh, but it's weak to ice. And we have Slime, which is weak to fire, and that does physical attacks. So, I want to we'll, we'll try out Zeo, we'll see if Zeo works. And if not, then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll check him with Yosuke, see if he's got uh, anything particularly useful. I would, I would hope so, but we'll see. Um, ooh, okay. Yes, we should show them who's boss. Mm. And of course, this music man. Oh, I'll face myself for the boss version. Is so good. Okay, that's fine. Um, Mazio downs Yosuke. And Bottomless Envy uh, makes Yosuke dizzy. Right. That's. A yeah, it was intense. Uh, but we can work through this. So, we can decrease the defense, which I'm actually going to do. And then, if we down them again with Yosuke, we can we can play a little bit of a, a weird game. Just, oh, you're setting up Green Wall, you're evil, you're evil. Right, so what we can do instead is we can just kind of whack him. Not perfect, but it works. Um, so, um, since Yosuke can't attack, Green Wall basically makes them impervious to wind damage. Uh, we, can just, we can just regenerate. And we're gonna do, hit me? Nah. Um, so even if they resist this, it's the only way we can really deal damage, so we're gonna do it. Eventually it will run out, though. Okay, Shadow, Shadow Chia looks... Okay, this, 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 this works, actually, this works. So if I... I'll Zio... Yeah, actually, do I Zio? Yeah, I'll Zio. So I'll, I'll deal what little damage I feel like dealing. And then because Double King Scornfully, I'm gonna guard. And this means that if she hits him with an electrical attack, it shouldn't work. Or at least it shouldn't knock him down. Uh, guarding prevents them from exploiting weaknesses, which is grand. Uh, now, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hit him with a little bit more Zeo. I'm just not sure if Green Wall works. It's like, hmm, are you... And we'll, we'll go one more without using it, but we'll see. Alright, uh, you're attacking me, that's fine and dandy. And you know what? Right, we'll, uh, we'll we'll give it a try. We'll see if Garo works. Mm, see, I'm getting the animation. Say I'm exploiting a weakness, but oh, okay. It, did it, did it say when it ran out and I maybe just wasn't paying attention? I, I think the duration for that is three turns. What well, like what our defense was? Yep. Ah, oh, the green wall. There it is. Oh, wind resistance. Yes, I don't. Th I think that means that we just can't exploit a weakness. She's uh, feeling quirky like that today, it seems. But like I said, we're, we're actually nuking her currently. So, oh, you're using Mabufu. Ah, you're cringe. So cringe. And just to be sure, because Yosuke has a little bit of extra SP here and there. Yeah, they they resist wind for a while. And um, uh, we know what that means. It means that they're going to try and exploit his weakness. So we're just going to bonk you one time for the good time, and we're going to guard. And it, oh, okay, there it is. So wind resistance was reverted. Grand. Okay, well, we want to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. You know the drill. It's an early game boss, so I can afford to just leave the whole thing in and not hope about it being its own episode. Yeah, so, the wind did 54 damage. Please to 100, maybe? 72. And green wall. It's like, as if I'm cute, it's like a... Just scripted sitcom. Alright, either way, don't matter. I'm just going to use a little bit of Dio while we wait for it to run out. You know, nothing, nothing big. We're just going to, we're just going to wail on it. Just going to make sure that we are... Uh, and Mabufu, neither of us are weak to that. Um, which means it's grand. Oh, we're just going to make the most of it like Yosuke heal himself, actually. Yeah, I think as the young combat's starting to work and come into play with this fight. This is kind of the test to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, and I think she's still resisting, so I'm going to, going to bonk her one more time. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, you see, okay, unscripted, just exploiting the thing, and she's gonna make him dizzy. Oh, it hurts. Okay, I'm gonna, right, Peach Seed, 20 HP to an ally. Oh, is it worth it? She's probably gonna go after him. Who do, do I? 20 HP to an ally. Go on, go on. Play it safe. It's not the best thing in the world, but it'll work. And, okay, Waste of Turn casting Green Wall works for me more than you could ever know. So, I'm um, hit her. He's gonna recover. And he's gonna heal me. 
because if I die, the game over. Uh, which, which, like I said, unlike Persona 3, it's not as punishing, but it's still pain. And, ooh, you missed! Why, oh, you suck! I, I was just gonna give us a whack for the one time. Uh, well, for fifth time, actually, but... Like I said, and this fight should be drawing to an end. And my boofu, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you're over. You know, I'll, even, I'll even be daring and go for cleave. Because I feel like it. Just get out of town. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot harder than what Shadow Yosuke was, but... Like I said, it's, it's, it's a good learning experience to figure out how everything works and whatnot. And we got 7,000 yen! Extortionate. And Izanagi has leveled up. Thank you, kind sir. And so is Yosuke. Good times all around. Are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But, but. You're more than that thing. But I. He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean. Everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. Chie has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome his life hardships, the Persona Tomoe. Uh, I... Um... It's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? Let's go back. I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just, we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now. We've come so far. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's... You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? 
<gasps> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. And I think with that, comes an end to our little uh, day trip to a castle. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? Why just Chie? That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tam ta -dam. I got a pair ready for Chie chan too. Here you go! Whoa! What the? This is awesome! It's like a fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sad and, I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it all right if I keep these? Faux show. Sure. We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's solve this case. Alright. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power. And you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Leave it to me. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. You've been unanimously appointed as the leader. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. And that means that we're going to establish the second social link, I believe. The Fool. And who's associated to that? It's the investigation team, I think. Mom, prove my memory right, it's been a few months. Yep, okay, we've now established the investigation team social link of the four Arcana. Again, XP boast when we fuse okay. so that the, 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 you, 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 so you what words you can pause to read them if you want. To check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. Okay, so after a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keeping an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world is crucial. And prompt me to save? Please? Yeah, well, sending me home, it's the same enough. And I think that's gonna call it here. I would hope. So, the three of you are having dinner. The news is that's on TV. World news tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Dojima is quiet with a stern expression on his face. Hey. Mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Plenty. Is something bothering you? Believe me, I, I do feel bad that I've been too caught up with work for us to have time to talk. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. 
I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. The news continues, heats of the heavy atmosphere. And I believe with that, we're going to bring this to an end. So if you did enjoy, if you feel like, comment, subscribe, it all helps out a bunch. I'm really sorry this ran over so much. Uh, but, no, hopefully, and this episode was worth it. Very chunky, very good. So many just plot details to get your hands in. It's a good one. Uh, but now, until next time, we'll start on the last side. Uh, I've been Remick, and we're going to wrap this one up before this gets any longer. So yeah, I uh, think everything. So, peace out.